Yo, what is going on guys? So freshman registration is right around the corner or happening right now for a lot of views. And to me at least, that was definitely one of the most stressful and confusing parts of entering college. So I wanted to make this video to just give a few tips and tricks that'll hopefully reduce that a bit. I know they do talk about this at orientation, but obviously this year colleges are forced to do orientation online for the most part, if any at all. And I can only assume that that just adds to the confusion. So hopefully this helps you out in one way or another. And also this video is going to be pretty UNC specific because obviously that is the only website I have access to. But I feel like a lot of the tips can be applicable to any college as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first step should be to find all of the classes that you need for your major. To do this, for UNC at least, type in UNC and then type in your major. So for me, that was business. And then type in a worksheet after that. There's probably some, uh, an equivalent to that for other colleges, but for UNC, it's called worksheets. Click on this first link and then click on your major and the file that's attached and it'll bring up this, which can look really intimidating at first, but trust me, it's really not. Um, basically, it's just divided into four categories, foundations, approaches, connections, and your major. To me, those never really made much sense. They're just overcomplicated things. So just look at the small headlines and it'll show you what you need. For example, here you need like four foreign language credits. For here you need one lifetime fitness credit and then you need one of each of these general education credits. And then down here are the major specific classes that you need to get a degree in your major. So to find out what credits you're already coming in with from high school, whether that be through like AP exams or early college classes or something like that, go to your student portal. In my case, that is Connect to Carolina. You should have a login by now to that. Go to Student Center. And then on this drop down on the left, go to Tar Heel Tracker, press the double arrows and click view summary report and it'll pull up something like this. And this will basically show you all the credits that you have and what you need. Obviously mine is pretty full because I already had a year of classes, but yours will have a lot of them not satisfied. The ones that are satisfied from high school are going to have a BE next to it. For example, I got my PLPX Gen Ed through AP Chem and my first HS credit through a push, I believe. And then once you have those, go back to your worksheet. This helps if you actually print it out, but you can do it either way and just mark that you completed them somehow, and then go do that for all of the credits that you've satisfied. Now, once you have that done, you can see everything left that you need to graduate. I say to graduate. I know there's gonna be a lot left, but keep in mind you have four whole years to get all of that, so don't get stressed out. The next thing you wanna do is find specific classes. In your first year, personally, my opinion is that you should focus like 30 to 40% on major classes and then 60% to 70% on general education classes, classes out of interest, or classes about like a double major or minor that you're not sure if you want to do yet because it's freshman year. That's your time to play around with everything to actually decide if what you want to do is what you want to do. But with that said, your priority should be the classes that will lead into your major. These can be either just requirements or prereqs that you need to actually apply. Like in my case, I'm technically a pre-business major, which means I'm applying to the business school next year. So I needed five classes in order to do that. And I came in with credits for three of them. So completing the last two so I could apply this year was my priority. And then a couple of my other priorities were English here because English 105 is required of all freshmen. There's no getting around that. So obviously add that to your list too. Um, I only came in with with uh, two foreign language credits and I wanted to get that done as soon as possible. So I put the next level foreign language on my list as well. Aside from that, that was pretty much it for the classes that I knew I had to take this year. Now to add these classes, go back to Connect Carolina. Click on the plan option on the left here and then go to shopping cart. Uh, this was mine for fall 2020. Obviously yours would be empty. Click search and then search for the class that you want. For example, Econ 101 is a really popular one. So I'll just do that, Econ 101. And then uncheck show open classes only because it's possible that upperclassmen filled all of the seats already. So in that case, you might have to go about things a bit differently. So click that and then search. And as you can see, the green ones are ones that are open and the blue square ones are ones that are closed. It'll tell you the times and meeting places of all of them. Don't worry about that now. Just add as many as you want right now. Worry about scheduling after you add all your classes. 
So for example, I'll just add this Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 1.25 p.m. one here. And then this screen will come up sometimes. This is to select your recitation. And what it is is just one class period where it's a smaller group like 2030, usually taught by a TA where you just review what you learned. And so yeah, that's gonna add a bit to your class time, but they're not the worst thing in the world. So as you can see, four of them are filled here. So I'll just choose the one that's available. There, there also might be an arrow here that opens up more of them. So I'll just choose the uh, Wednesday 11.15 one. Click next, click next, and that'll add it to your shopping cart. And then go through and add all of the sections for all of the classes that you deemed required, and then just leave them in the shopping cart. I'll tell you what to do with them in a bit. Okay, so once you have all of the classes that you think are required in your shopping cart, if you're still pretty confused on like how to use Connect Carolina and all the buttons and stuff, I'll expand on that a bit later. But first to find the rest of your classes, go to coursical.com slash UNC or whatever college you go to, and it should look like this. This website is like a major key to registration. It's how you're going to build your ideal schedule and find like all of the gen ed classes. So what you want to do is go to this tab on the left here. There are tabs for like scheduling and stuff like that. But like I said, worry about that a bit later. Just click on the gen eds tab and then go back to your worksheet. Look at the ones that you don't have and just type like two or three of them in. So for example, if I do like HS um, BN here, it'll pull up all of these classes that fulfill both of those credits at once. You can even take that a step further and look for a third one. So I'll just do like WB for example, and all of these classes fulfill all three of them as you can see. Now these classes with three gen eds that you don't have are pretty rare to find. So if you can find one, definitely consider it added to your list unless it looks like completely boring or unless it's like a 300, 400 level class. But yeah, keep doing that for a bunch of gen eds. Look for like two and three at once. And if you still can't find one, then just look for one separately. Alternatively, you can go to UNC's course catalog and just look at like each one of the subjects that you're interested in. Again, like econ, for example, and then just go through these and look for ones that sound interesting and fulfill a gen ed or two that you need. The issue with this though, is that it can get pretty time consuming because there's so much to look through and not everything on here is going to be offered in this semester that you're looking for because this is every course at UNC. But if you are doing this, then the way to find if it is offered is, is to just go to Corsicle, look for like the class that you were looking at. And if it is there, that means it is offered the semester. But if it isn't, then it's not. Now, one thing that I have not touched on yet so far, which I think is really cool for first years is first year seminars. These are small classes of like 15 to 30 that only freshmen can sign up for. And I recommend taking one each semester of your freshman year if you can, and here's why. One, they're about like niche topics that sound a lot more interesting than a lot of the normal classes do. Two, they're not very reliant on tests at all. They're mostly just projects and participation. And not many, if any at all, even have a final exam. It's just a final project. Sometimes there's papers, but overall, I think the stress level is a lot lower than a normal class. And three, all of them are tied to at least one up to three gen eds. I took two last year. Each of them gave three different gen eds and only one of them overlapped. So in total, I got five gen eds from these two classes, both of which I got an A minus and an A in. So to find these, just look up UNC Seminars 2020. Click on that first link. Click on view fall 2020 FYS schedule and then it'll show you all of them right here. And as you can see, all of them are tied to at least a gen ed here. Like this one fills VPCI, this one fills just VP, this one fills LA and GL. So just look around those, look for ones that sound interesting as well as fulfill gen eds and add those to your shopping cart. Taking both of mine was one of the best decisions I made in freshman year, I think. Once you've gone through all of that, you should have at least like 20 things in your shopping cart. I do want to stress that. Finding classes is a non-stop process. It basically doesn't end until the semester is underway and you're settled into your classes. So what you have there isn't always going to be the classes that you're actually going to take, but it is mainly just a really important starting point. Okay, so now given this initial shopping cart, now is the time to actually consider timings and professors and build your ideal schedule. So first, what you want to do is look at all your required classes and, if, and look at if the sections are different professors. And if they are, then look up each of the professors on Rate My Professor, which I'm sure most of you have heard of. Uh, so for example, I'll just use my econ teacher that I have right now, Michelle Sharon Andrews, and then type in UNC Rate My Professor, and 
click on the first link and it should bring up something like this. Um, as you can see, she was rated a 4.5 out of 5 from 80 ratings, which is a really good rating and I can attest to that. She was a great teacher. Um, it gives you specific student reviews, some more information there, difficulty level. And yeah, it's pretty reliable. However, don't put everything on it. What I mean by that is if you see that you have a two or three, but it's like your only option, don't back away just because of that. I've had some professors that were rated pretty low, but I didn't think were terrible. I just use it as a resource to select which classes I'd want ideally. And if I don't get those, then it's fine. I just back down to another professor, but the higher rated ones are good ones to try to enroll in first. So once you've done that, go through and find the general education classes, the seminar, or, or any other classes that you would prefer to take that semester, and make sure that none of them are at the same time. And if they are, then you might have to choose another professor for one of them or just choose a different class as a whole. But don't take the one that conflicts with time out of your shopping cart just yet because you might end up not getting the other one that it conflicts with. That's probably really complicated. If you have any questions about that, I'll leave it in the comments. But once you have five or six classes selected that you would prefer to take in this semester, that total up to under 18 credit hours. Most classes are three credit hours, some are one, some are four. Then go back to Corsicle and go to the schedule tab right here and just add all six of them in. So for example, I chose Econ 101 earlier, so I'll add Econ 101 and it'll add that into the schedule right here. And then you can add the recitation that you chose. I don't remember which one I chose, so I'll just add this one. And then do that for all your classes, and you should have an ideal schedule ready there. Now I say ideal because this is what you're aiming for, but it's more than likely not what you're going to get when you actually register. For example, this was my ideal freshman year schedule that I made a year ago, and this was my actual schedule that ended up happening. So as you can see, only like two of those classes, maybe even one, was the same. And that's perfectly okay, that's normal. You're gonna have to learn to adjust and find new classes as you go on. As far as scheduling your classes themselves go, again, I know this can be a bit different this year because they changed the timings of classes, but in general, I would say avoid it three classes back to back to back. That's just gonna be a super long stretch. And by the third class, you're gonna have like no brain power left. Plus in between, there isn't that much time to like get food or do anything really. So try to space your classes out with like an hour or two gap in between. Two back to back is okay, but three can get pretty tough. Like, like I did that last semester from 9.30 to 1.45 on two days a week and it was not fun. On the same note, try to avoid classes that are past like 4 p.m. Because especially if you get up at a reasonable time, that's going to be at least for me, when your brain starts to shut down and it just becomes a lot harder to focus. To me, 8 a.m.s are a bit better than like 5 or 5.30 p.m.s, but if you can avoid both, that would be the best. And also try to minimize your Friday classes and get out early because at that point, it's just going to be the end of a long week. Every week in college is a long week and you're just going to be thinking about the weekends. So the earlier you get out and the less classes you have on Friday, the better. Other than that, just try to keep it pretty even. Um, I'd say 14 to maybe 16 credit hours is a good amount for your first semester. 13 is fine too. And it's going to be your semester where you really find out what time classes work best for you. For me, that's like 11, 11.30 classes. Okay, so that's basically the gist of how I go about planning and scheduling what I want for the semester. There's still a lot more to it, but for now, I want to get into how to actually enroll for classes at your registration time. The time is determined by when you had orientation, I believe, and for freshmen, this time is not really important. UNC makes it pretty even. They like reserve seats in some classes, so everyone at any time has a equal chance of getting into it. But in all registration appointments going forward, your time will actually matter and earlier times would be better. But for now, so what you want to do, do this like 15, 20 minutes before your time hits. Go back into Connect Carolina to make sure you can actually log in and there's no connection issues or whatever. Go back to Student Center and then do not click on the Enroll tab. Click on the Plan tab. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but trust me, click on the Plan tab. Go back to your shopping cart and then select all of the five or six classes that are on your ideal schedule. Also, I'm saying five or six because even though I know that is like 18, 15 credits and some of you might just want to take like four or five classes, I highly recommend taking one more class than you want because you can drop any class in the first week or two with zero penalties. So you can feel out all your classes and then drop the one you like the least, which may not be the one you think it is. But yeah, select those. Um, I'll just select a random one, for example, here, even though it's not going to let me enroll because obviously my schedule for next semester is full. 
but then you as soon as your registration time hits so as soon as the clock hits nine i think that's freshman registration time press enroll as soon as possible and what will happen is it's probably going to take a while because so many people are doing it at once but click that click finish enrolling and then it'll pop up with something like this with all your classes with check marks if you got into the class or x's if you didn't and you're probably not going to get into like half if i'm being honest either you're going to be required to be a specific major to take it or it's going to be full in like two seconds something like that's bound to happen but hopefully you get into at least three of your classes initially but after this it is not over at all at this point you want to go back to your shopping cart you'll probably see that a lot of your classes have changed from green to either yellow or blue meaning that they've become waitlist only or closed but go through all the classes that are still green and if you'd be willing to take any of them in the next semester then quickly enroll in them assuming of course that they don't time conflict with the ones that you did get into and then if you still don't have anything after that which like i said you probably won't and that's perfectly fine then just like stay in connect carolina for maybe an hour ish more keep refreshing to see if anything opens up because a lot of people will be shuffling around with classes and stuff while that happens do your research find some more classes that you might be willing to take and if all else fails just sign up for any one or two that are still open and these can act as like placeholders right now from this point on keep close tabs on all of the classes that you really wanted to get into but you didn't end up getting into just check at least like once a day during summer if it's open or not and then when classes start check a bit more often because chances are someone especially if it's a bigger class someone's gonna drop it and a spot will open up so if you catch it at the right time you can take that spot to help with that, you can download the Course School app. I'll leave the link down below. You can track one class for free and it'll notify you if it opens up. Or if you pay five bucks, you can track as many classes as you want. This has come in handy for me a couple times. And for example, last semester, I only started the semester with like three out of the five classes that I wanted. And then a week and a half later, I was in all five that I wanted and I was able to switch the timings for one of them to become better just because I kept tracking everything on Connect Carolina. And eventually things just fell into place. Now as far as using Connect Carolina itself, first of all, if you want to swap one class with another, assuming that the one you're swapping with doesn't have a time conflict with something you're registered for, you go to this swap tab right here under enroll, and then select the class from your schedule to that you want to swap, and then select whichever class from your shopping cart that you want to swap it with. If it's not in your shopping cart, you can search for it here. And then um, after you press select, it'll tell you if it's successfully swapped or not. If you want to edit a recitation time for a class, just go to whichever class you want to edit, proceed, and then it'll show you all the recitation times that you can change to without de-enrolling and enrolling back in the class. To check how many people are in a class, go to the search tab, type in the class that you want. I'll just do COM 113 here. Um, search it up and then click on the little blue section header here and it'll tell you that there is a hundred sixty five people in the class total 14 seats are available it will also tell you on the right here how many people are on the wait list the reason that there's still available seats and people are on the wait list is because they're probably reserving some seats for freshmen yeah as you can see here that's what it is the waitlist system you have four credit hours to waitlist for each semester, and this will count to your credit hour total. So for example, if I go to my class schedule, um, I'm currently waitlisted in English English 149 class that I wanted, and I'm waitlist position two, meaning if two people were to drop the course, then I'd get automatically put into it. To waitlist something, just click on the class that has the yellow triangle, and then click waitlist if class is full and then go back and do the normal enrolling process and it'll put you on the waitlist. And also because this semester is going to be different, there's going to be a lot of online classes. All right, so even though this was recorded less than a week ago, this part of the video is already outdated. So here's a quick updated version. So now what you want to do is you want to search for specifically either online or in-person classes. Put whatever search criteria you want in there and then go down to additional search criteria and then go to modes of instruction and then you'll see these. Face-to-face -face means it's only in person. Hybrid means that there's some in person, some online. High flex means you have the choice of whether you want to do it online or in person. And then remote obviously means that it's online only. Or if you just want to search for which mode of instruction one of the classes that you want is, search it up. 
and then go click on the lecture header again and then over here it will tell you which one it is planned to be in the fall and that is basically a quick overview on how i register for my college classes like i've said this is a huge process it entails so much it's much more complicated than high school registration ever was the most difficult part is definitely finding classes and then adjusting after you first hit enroll i think the biggest thing i've learned is to just be patient because Every time I'd panic after only getting one or two classes after that initial wave. And then once classes finally started, things kind of started to settle themselves out. Classes started to become open again, and I got most of what I wanted. Not everything, but you can't always get everything. If you do, then you're lucky. Be happy with that. But um, yeah, that's basically it. Please let me know any questions you have down below. I will be more than happy to answer them. Hopefully it did help in some way, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe. I will see you later. Peace out.